Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and I am on my way back to that little snow cave there, and I brought a door this time, and everything I need to establish a forward base that will exclude explicitly a bed. There is no reason to risk uh, building a bed in this area because of the amount of pain that it could lead to. Uh, Last thing I need is to put down a bed, sleep in it, wake up, and then fall in a pit like this one every time. That would be abysmal. We're not doing it. I refuse. So instead, what I'm going to do is I think I will set up a little crafting area chest over here. Um, so this way, because I'm going to retrieve like probably a bajillion snowflakes or s snowballs or whatever in this area. And I'm not going to want to hold on to all of them. So here's what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and set that here. Also, I'm going to go ahead and thank the sponsor for this episode, Glassed Gamer, who writes, No more cave. What day did it snow? Swoop. And, uh... Glass Gamer was actually kind enough to, uh... Actually, let me just read that out loud dramatically. Glass Gamer writes, No more cave! What day did it snow? Swoop! Anyway, um... Glass Gamer and, uh, the sponsor from our previous episode, Angel Mapper, have actually both sponsored more than one episode. So right now, I'm kind of, uh, varying who, um... Uh, like, rather than having... Somebody who sponsors two episodes being thanked two episodes right in a row. I, I'm breaking it up a little bit. So, anyway, if you sponsor more than one episode and you're not necessarily mentioned in that, like, in a block, that's why. Um, it's because I'm trying to uh, make your message more powerful by avoiding oversaturation. And so, there we go. Um, you know what? I probably will leave the flint and steel on the nether rack here for right now. So, if you recall from last time, this, we're, we're going to be descending to the level where all of a sudden uh, we start getting them particles from the uh, being so close to the bottom of the map and visibility gets horrible and you can't see anything and you want to just stab yourself in the face because that way at least you'd be able to see better than you can down here. Which I personally dislike. I, I don't think that this is one of the best improvements to Minecraft. Uh, but you know what? This isn't a any sort of democracy. Whoa! Okay. Solving that problem. With pain. Okay, there's creeper spawners over here. So, what we need to do is retreat temporarily. Get out of the range of the spawner. And we need to develop a plan. Now, presumably, this area, this, this, uh, leads to that same room down there. Now, I don't have any blocks on me because I'm an idiot. So I'm going to quickly claim a few blocks outside the range of the spawner so I don't have to worry about anything, uh, getting stupid at me. Uh, and just spawning in my face. Okay, so now we've got some snow blocks there um additional okay so let's uh let's just real quick go back and uh throw a little bit of light down on this side here just to avoid any complications from stuff coming at us from multiple directions okay now let's go ahead and add some add some ladders here um Okay, so blocks are at the ready. Ah! Ah! There, there's baby, baby spiders here. Baby, baby, baby spiders. Baby spiders. Baby spiders. Absolute worst type of spiders. Ah! 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 More spiders. More spiders. More spiders. Okay, this is very bad, people. I don't know if you acknowledge how bad this is in your hearts. But, uh, okay. Okay, everybody, just take a second. Just breathe. Just close your mouth and breathe in and out once through your nostrils. 
in out you know what that felt so good let's do that a second time in out okay so my poison is cleared up my hearts are slowly replenishing I don't hear any more spider noises wherever that guy came from probably was somewhere ceiling related there a hole in the ceiling anywhere that I should know about I'm starting to think that my best bet might be to just uh, kind of mine through. Like, did they come up from here, maybe? Because I always hear spider noises when I hang out here too long. Just do a quick reconnoitering of the ceiling. Everything seems to be in order up here. But, oh well. Um... We know for a fact that there's a fleecy box back in there. And, yeah, see, it's when I stand here that I start hearing the spiders. So I think they might spawn here and then pop out of the ceiling somewhere nearby. Or come out of there, down here somewhere. But, uh, okay, so I'm thinking here's the new plan, is we go ahead and we just start mining our way through uh, this... And we just block ourselves in like so. Oh, this is going to increase... Whoa, bad idea. This is going to increase the odds of spawning a creeper, though. Or a baby spider. If we're too close to the... Sp whoops. Uh, if we're too close to the spawners when we're doing this, this could possibly be very, very stupid. So I'm just going to clarify that I know that right now. So y'all can mock me later when this horribly backfires. And I mean horribly, like if this doesn't go well, this will this will this will be very badly going poorly. Uh okay. So we're just gonna remove that, remove that. Okay. So we got enough snowballs here to just go nuts with that. Now one problem we're gonna have is as we get close to the spiders okay, there's coal right there. So that's good to know. Um, if we're anywhere near the spiders, though, they're just going to start climbing at us from every angle. And it's going to be pretty abysmal pretty quick. Whoa, there they are. That's what I was talking about, them uh, coming at us from every side. Uh, so we are just going to build ourselves a nice little protective hut there. Let's hope that this ceiling block isn't a... Uh, yeah, there we go. Last thing I want to do is open up a hole from which all these spiders can pour out at me. But here I am digging them anyway. So, let's see here. So this is definitely not the same chamber that we were... Okay, so this is what happens if you go... Where did I see the fleecy box from then, I guess is my question. Huh. Well, I think that that right there... Oh, that is the fleecy box. That's what that light is. So if I go down this way, I may yet uh, be able to just drop down through the ceiling of the fleecy box and achieve my goals like, uh, I was gonna say like a cat that just ascends from the ceiling. I think that's actually Catwoman that descends from the ceiling onto her objectives. But, regardless, it is an option for us today. And luckily I'm not out of shovels yet. These stupid particles are just driving me mad. Okay, well, that's actually just the void right there. So we have overshot the fleecy box clearly there. Um, quick visual inspection. Okay, yeah, it's actually like right under here. So let's just hop down to there. This is why we brought ladders, folks. So we can just ladder back up. Um, go ahead, second shovel here. I should not have done that, knowing we're so close to the void. Uh, that, that was a mistake. Excuse my foolishness, folks. 
Okay, that is overshooting the fleecy box's whale. We do not actually want to go that far. So, getting closer though. So is this just, if it's, well, it's only, okay, well, if that was one corner of it there, then it might be out this way, possibly. Possibly, only possibly. Dang it, it's so dark down this low. Okay, well, that is clearly a part of it there, so let's go ahead and try and do this without actually killing ourselves on spider faces. No, wait, is this not the fleecy box? It's just a buried piece of... Oh, it's a buried chest. Well, that can be okay, though, because at least we can recover them resources out of the chest. So let's go ahead and we can break that and... Cool. So we got a whole bunch of neat stuff out of there, um, at least. So we will just free up some of our high-volume inventory space here. Ugh, snowballs, you are the worst. Okay, well, what we have also done, though, is we can we have confirmed that there is indeed a coal vein out here, which is totally valuable to know. So, let's just make sure that there's not a billion creepers, or spiders waiting to pour out on us uh, when we emerge here. Okay, that's good to know. So, I really thought, though, that when I went through here, I saw a room with a bunch of creepers... Maybe if I count my paces, though, it's just not far. Oh, I dug the wrong way. Yeah, I need to dig this way. That's why I didn't see anything. Well, okay, there's one of them. We're just going to really calmly shoot him to death with an arrow. Okay, and we are... We should build a shelf here. We should build a shelf. A shelf that keeps him out. Build a spider fence. Whoa! Spider fans, spider fans, spider fans insecurity uh, problem. Problem, problem, problem. Problem, problem. Okay. Okay, okay. Um. Well, we learned something today about spider fences. They're not necessarily the most secure means of fencing. I'm gonna leave one of these shovels here. I don't need two stone picks. I'll take the one I've got, I guess. And I probably don't need as many snow blocks as I have. Uh, no sense risking losing them all. Um, I am going to take a good deal of more torches, though. So let's take a second pass at that... Uh, at, at the uh, fleecy box, which we know is over that way and then that way some. So... I came all the way around here, and then I dropped down to get to that box there. And this is all super dark now. I'm wondering, though, if there is a fleecy box still, like, if it's... It would still be in this area, I believe. Huh. Dang it, fleecy box, where are you? Well, it's also possible that I'm underneath it right now which is not ideal. But like, if I came out only this far and started digging, then that might be the solution as well. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Plenty of light in here. Don't want to wake up the creepers. Oh look, there's one now. Die in an era. Fight. Okay, so now we have a much better grasp of the layout of this area. And we are gonna go bust some heads. Okay, so let's see what we got here. 
we probably got a creeper spawner somewhere around here, so I don't want to be too uh, conservative with my lighting. We definitely have a fleecy box there. I don't see any skeletons, so uh, I don't have to make too much of a priority of shelving. Uh, yeah, there's the, there's the creeper spawner. Um, but I don't need to make too much of a priority of building walls here to keep uh, eras out since there's no perpetrators of such era related crimes uh, available to ruin my day or my life. So, okay. Now, it's also entirely possible that Vetches is going to start trapping roots around fleecy boxes like this. Oh, there's only two pieces of light blue wool in here. So if I don't make it on this return attempt, then I'm in trouble. So let's, uh, I've got full health. I've got a safe route established. I think that this should be okay. I think that I should be able to safely endure this, uh, this part of the process. So I'm going to trade this broken stone sword, though, for a good stone sword. And I'm going to go for it, I think. So get my light blue wool out here. i got plenty of arrows. I probably won't need this many torches. If, if I do die here, I don't want to lose like a million of everything. Because that will just be more frustrating. But anyway. So yeah, light blue wool out there. Let's go for it. On our way. The voyage home. Or what not. Okay, it is not time outside. This is not the greatest concern we have. We just want to run. Like, there might be creatures coming up behind us. We don't care. We don't want to look back. Because that'll just remind us that there's creatures coming up behind us. If we just go for it, if we are just bold and brave and beautiful and uh, we use a lot of alliteration, then nothing can hurt us. Oh, no, I look back. I turn into a pillar of salt. Okay, no, I didn't. Okay, good. I was worried there for a second. Oh, good. So we're finally getting out among the, out from that horrible mist there, which inspires me to bring out my blue wool. And I'm very excited about it. So as you can see, we are safely back here. One thing I like about adventuring nearby is all my trees have a chance to grow. So it makes lumber farming much easier. I'm going to lower that tree, I think. But, so anyway, what I want to do is I want to come to this special chest Vetch has provided us with torches and signs. And, let's see, light blue wool is right here. And we recover that from the stupid spider snow dungeon ice cave of wonders. Done. And we're going to light that up. There we go. Look at that. That's two of 19 points. That is, we are ahead of where we were yesterday. Um, and hopefully we'll continue to keep getting further ahead of where we were the day before that. So until next time, y'all, this has been Joe Hills recording in Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.